Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the start date of the year, quarter and month based on the selected date. For example, 3rd November is selected, right? So start date of the year, 1st January 2021. Based on this, start date of the month, this. Start date of the quarter, this one, right? So this is very helpful in doing some calculations like month to date, quarter to date, year to date. I mean, you have the direct formulas, but if you are running into those tricky scenarios where you need to find it out and you need to perform some operations, then you should know how to do that, right? So that's what I was going to show you. And uh, just a quick information before I go in depth into the video is about a few things which I maintain, like I'm maintaining this uh, date scenarios workbook, right? In which I'm creating these scenarios. I have a lot of these formulas. So this is the fifth scenario and I'm having these calculations, right? So this, if this is a workbook that you need, then instruction is present in the description. Along with this, if you want to follow it along with me, uh, with this data set, which is the orders data set, let me show you. So based on the link that I have given in the description, you will come over here in my data set folder. In my data set folder, what you will going to find is this data set sheet. Here I'm maintaining now all of my data set and mostly I use this data set. Rest of that I have used in different types of uh, dashboards, but this is the one which is being used over here. So you can go ahead and download this in the, from the row number 19. Along with this information about uh, this particular workbook uh, or the Google Sheet where I am keeping all of my videos. So this uh, inf instructions for this, how to get this sheet is also present in the description. What you can do is you can easily search any of my videos. As you can see, 300 plus videos that I have posted and the link is present over here. That way searching of the video is very, very easy. With that, let's get back. All right, with that information, here I am in the blank work uh, in the workbook where I have imported the orders table. Don't worry about this dynamic data. I was using it for a different checking and all. So orders data set is something which I have brought in. And uh, to basically get that information, the first quarter, the first year and all, what we basically need is uh, is basically a date selection or the selected date value, right? So what are we going to correct? create is a slicer right and in this slicer what we need is the order date and uh, yep but what we need is one date for that right now it is producing two dates okay so over here I'll just go and in the slicer setting I choose the drop down and I select any date right let's say I select with 7th March right 7th March 2018 is what I'm selecting Right. It can be any date which we want. And then what I'm going to do is create a new measure. And this measure will basically help me get the start of the year. First date of the year is equals to, we will going to create a variable, underscore, selected date, just, just a way. Underscore is just a way I create variable, just so that I know that it is a variable. There is nothing special or tricky about it. So selected value is the function to get the value of the order date, right? So I get the order date over here and I close it, right? And what I'm going to return over here is the date, okay? And we will going to have the year of what underscore selected date, comma one, comma one. What it has is basically, if you see this date function is need to have year, uh, year, uh, month and date. So that is what we are supplying. Again, if I show you comma year, month, day. So one comma one and we are done, right? So what it should give us over here. Oh, it's created over here, but that's okay. One one 2018, right? So if I just change it to this one. So 1st January 2018. Now if I can go and let's say select something over here, 16 September. Still date will be same. 
right and if i go and select something 23rd february if i go select something in 2020 yep because that's how it is for you 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 got that idea right so that is about how you can create the year part of this as to how you can get this the second is how you can get the month information well i will just modify this calculation right rather than saying one over here we will say month of latest underscore selected date not the latest date so if i do that it will going to give me first march 2020 so we are in 29th march 2020 uh, i select second now it is giving me this right if i come down a lot uh let's say 17th may it will give me the first may that way i can do whatever calculation i want from first may to 17th may and get the desired output right so this is why this is pretty interesting and neat in terms of uh, uh, how we are doing this so that we have checked the first quarter or uh, sorry the first uh, basically year first date of the year first date of the month and now let's just check <coughs> sorry let's just do the uh, first date of the quarter which is slightly tricky so be with me okay so what do we have over here is the same calculation right i'm just going to modify this one so what do we have is the uh, selected date over here for year month is this and we have to do some changes over here in month right so we were going to say this month will going to be uh, divide by three to get the quarter information right so for example if month is let's say march three divided by three will give us what one right and then we have two if it is june uh, may june july it should give two but then the decimal value will come so what we need is the round up function that means round on the upper side so this is the number right and we want zero digit to be there okay so what it will going to do is round up by that so for first one it will say one but for second one you know uh, what we need to do is it will we will have to multiply it by three uh, to get the desired output uh, as we are moving on to the next ones and minus two in that case uh, this basically helps us all this entire calculation basically helps us make sure that we always get the relevant uh, quarter that we need first of all let me show you and then do a little bit more explanation so that you know it clearly so 17th may is giving you the first april 2019 right this is based on um the the 17th may is the second quarter right and in the second quarter what it is doing is if you will see that month calculation over here right so divide by three is basically going to give us a decimal value so this will give us the selected date is five divided by three is basically going to give us 1.6 if you are rounding it up it will give us two 2 multiply with 3 is will going to give us 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 is nothing but April, right? So what we are saying is 1st April 2016. And this formula works best. You can further decode it and do all the, uh, you know, mathematics as around it. 17th August, 1st of July, right? So this will going to work fine, this formula, just this particular piece. This is nothing but a mathematics around it what if you want to further decode it first thing first what you should do is you should write this formula let, let me do it for you uh, how i will basically going to do it if i just comment this out okay so first thing first let's do this Control c Control v and enter so what it is giving us is eight right uh selected month is eight and then what what i'm going to do is divide by three what it will going to give me is three if i simply do round up round up and uh, comma zero what it will going to give me 
over here is this right and then multiply with 3 sorry multiply with 3 what it will going to give me is 9 right and then minus 2 is what it will going to give me is July right so that's how I am getting it that's how this formula is working so this is a breakup or <clears throat> how you should understand why this formula is working <coughs> sorry so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you are able to get the quarter as per your desire and now I'll meet you in the next video with the topic